Welcome to LDSPaperToys.com. I'm S. Periatri, and today we're going to build this resurrection spinner so kids can spin the wheel and watch the resurrection. So for this project, you're going to need a pair of scissors and a utility knife. First thing you need to do is go out to LDSPaperToys.com and download the resurrection spinner uh, PDF. And then you're going to want to print that out on cardstock. So here we have that PDF. It actually comes with three images of each. I'm just going to do one here, obviously. But before you cut these out, the first thing you need to do is use the utility knife and do all the cuts that you need to do. It's just easier to do before you cut out the pieces of paper. So for the, the circle here, you just have to cut on this uh, little X. It's just two cuts. That's it. Here you have another circle. And some other cuts you have to make is here along these dotted lines, you have to cut on the outside of these lines. Same with these, you cut on the outside. The idea with this is that you're actually looking through the stone and into the tomb. So um, I've given you some space to be creative here. You can make these as jagged as you want, but you have to come all the way on the outside of the line for it to look right. And then when you get down here, you just cut on this side of that line. Then as an option, you can cut out this square. You can leave it alone, or if you want to go ahead and cut it out, you can cut it out and just cut along the inside of those black lines, and then the message will change when the spinner spins. Okay, so I went ahead and cut all that out. Notice I cut all the lines out, made this line really flat here on the bottom, and I've cut this out as well. And I went ahead with scissors, cut out the outside of this. And I've also with scissors cut out this circle shape. So from here we use our half inch brass fastener, and we're just going to put that through our little hole here, little circle and then make, run that through this circle right here where my thumb is. So we're looking into the tomb, it says Jesus died, and even over here it says Jesus died and was placed in the tomb and has a scripture reference. You simply turn, you spin the wheel, and now Jesus is walking outside of the tomb, it says Jesus lives and has a scripture on the third day Jesus was resurrected. For other ideas like this, visit LDSPaperToys.com.